All right. Hi there. Uh, I'm Becca. I am still a senior <laughs> at Gretna High School. You got my back, thanks. And uh, yeah, this is this poem is called Andrew. You never understood poetry. I couldn't explain it to you in words that made sense, so I let you complain. You'd say, math makes sense. Math has an answer that you circle at the bottom of the page, and it's right or it's wrong. There's no right or wrong in poetry. I agreed. I told you that was made poetry so beautiful, the absence of error. You wouldn't listen. Instead, you looked for the right numbers. In elementary school, we had room to be stupid, to waste time and make mistakes and forget to do our homework, but you were never stupid. Neither was I. That earned us badges of honor that looked like targets through our classmates' eyes. It didn't matter, we had each other. The girl who could spin stories like thread and the boy who found algebra in the constellations. You told me you were going to change the world and I believed you because you always lived like you were on the verge of something amazing. When you move in the fifth grade, there's no such thing as staying in touch. You fell out of it and into other things, other friends, other worlds. I wonder if you ever thought of me because I certainly thought of you. I knew with conviction, with unfailing confidence that you were going to change the world and you were, and you would have. One day I started getting texts. They said, have you heard? They said, did you know? They said, did you hear? He died in his sleep. There was no warning. There was nothing we could have done. Their words were anesthesia, numbing me until nothing felt real, nothing felt right. What does that mean? There was nothing they could have done. You were 17 years old, and Andrew, you were going to do so much more. I couldn't go to your funeral. I didn't think I had the right. Who was I to say that I knew you? Who was I to say I had any kind of ownership over your memory? The girl from fifth grade isn't here anymore. We grew up, Andrew. We changed, and maybe you still found equ equations in the stars, but I wasn't there to see it. Now, the numbness is gone, and I'm just angry. I, I'm angry that everything about you will always be in the past tense, always in hypotheticals, what you might have been, what you might have done. I'm angry because you were meant for better things, bigger things than me, but I'm the one who's still here. And no matter how hard I try, I can't find your numbers anywhere. I can't make sense out of anything. You said you never understood writing. I couldn't explain it to you in terms you'd understand, so instead I wrote for you. Even when you claimed not to get it, you'd slip it in your backpack and you'd smile. See, you wrote equations and I wrote words, but we were both writing poetry. <laughs> <laughs>